Ever since I got this cowboy hat, I've been feeling real different. I've been feeling like riding cows. Cause that's what boys do to become cowboys. Mm. We've met a lot of people, you know? Landon Ricketts, Bonnie, Seth, Mick Dickens. Finally ran into Javier Esquila, a friend, one time brother, and now, uh, probably dead. Yeah, he's probably, they probably like cut his balls off or something. They, they cut something off. But now I'm gonna guess we have to fight for Mexico. Now I'm perfect to fight for it. I wanna get straight into the gameplay because I'm pretty sure either the next episode or the episode after that should be the last episode. I plan on playing at least five hours the next time I record. It's just, uh, when am I gonna do that? That's a great question. But I do wanna do like one last Stranger Mission episode, which I don't even think that would take so long. I, I could do it right here, but. <laughs> We're not gonna do it. But yeah, there's not that many episodes left. And I know a lot of people are telling me to play Red Dead Revolver, play Undead Nightmare, bro. That's how you can tell they're not OGs. Damn. Like respect, no, disrespectfully. You're you're new around here, huh? You new? You just you just got here, huh? You gotta be new. Ask me dumb questions like that. Are you gonna play it? Of course I am. <laughs> See, people that have been watching me for a while, they know like when I start something, I usually beat all of it. Nothing. Hey, don't do that. Ah! Wait, aren't these my enemies now? Well, I guess I don't have a side. I wonder if they think of me as an enemy since I've killed. There's this warfare going on. <laughs> and John doesn't care a bit. Oh, that's the dude that helped me. You can at least help him. Is oh, it's Abraham. Welcome to Mexico. My brothers and I are just discussing the future of our country. Okay, let this man go. And who are you, gringo? John Marston. No one. But unless you want this town to tear you and your boys to shreds, I suggest you let him go. And you think you could tell me what to do, friend? Oh, you should listen to him, friend. Look at that. You want to risk it? Marston is so... Kong is a drunk! If I were you, I would, I would pull that trigger. Put the gun down, American. <laughs> what? Ya matalo. Dejen mi hombre. Mierda. No. Ay, Dios mío. What was your dumb ass thinking? I was saying she should be the leader too. And then she do something stupid like this. She ain't coming back. RIP bro. All I wanna see is RIP Louisa. RIP bro. Praying for you big dog. <laughs> Shoot! Yup! Puta Santa Maria! So you wanna settle this now, friend? Or you want me to shoot you in the head right now for that poor girl? Do it! Okay, but... We fight like men, not like dogs. Don't you do them. I don't understand like the actual rules of duel. Like what stops you from just getting your gun out and just start shooting? All right, well he's dead. Thanks my brother. Now the people are finally ready. Today we overthrow the Coronel. I don't like you. I don't like anybody. There are prisoners in jail who will fight on our side. Can you save them? I got you, bro. Speeches to me, John. Drew at least the prisoners. And I get no credit, you know? 
I don't want to be that guy, but bro, if I do something, I want some credit for it. I guess she died for... She didn't die for anything. I'm gonna shut up. She didn't die for a thing, bro. Let's go, my Let's go. Hey, I'm glad we doing some big missions now, bro. It took forever for us to get like to this point. All right, I gotta start switching guns before the last bullet. Get down! What the heck is shooting me? Oh. You do it! I don't wanna do it, you do it! There we go. This gringo ain't happy, amigo. This dude keeps shooting me, bro. Who is shooting me? Oh, look at his head. I couldn't see it. The name is John Marston, gentlemen. Uh. Get your name out there. My fame is Max, but nobody know me. I'm lying, everybody knows me. I'm John Marston. All right, the thing is, I forgot if we killed, was it the Santa? Did we kill the Santa? I don't remember. No, we did, that's how we got Javier. We can use gunpowder to blow the door open. We will set up the barrels. Wait for my signal. No. Oh, uh, oh, it took a lot of me to blow it up. Ahora, hermano, shoot the barrels. Do this. See, now I'm having fun, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I didn't have fun doing all those M. McDickin, whatever the hell his name was, missions. I did it. I did not have fun. You can tell. You can tell I did it. I was very verbal about it. If I don't like something, you're gonna know. Oh, snap. I did not know I could do that. Try it! Try it! Dang, I'm it. Dang. What? I, I'm, I don't speak. What are we? Are they chopping it down? Oh, get them. Oh, snap. I wonder if the map fully switches too. That'd be cool. Alright, they ain't playing, bro. They're actually doing damage. You gonna shotgun somebody? Watch. Oh, he ain't even got a shotgun. Is that Bill? I'll cover you. They're getting away. We have to stop them. Come on, Joe. Let's get to the horses. Bro. Williamson. I already got a squad. Already got him. Dang, why am I taking so much damage? Am I just playing more sloppy this episode? I can't tell. Maybe I'm just excited, you know? Oh my. This is gonna end badly for you. Got him. Yeah. 
Got it inside? Yeah. I thought you was tough. Stand in fight. Oh. Come on. No way this is Bill. What the hell are you doing? Find my freedom, pendejo. Now shut up, you dumb ape. And get out of the wagon. Apurate. I'm coming out. Don't shoot. Here. Take Williamson. Just let me... I know you ain't got no sword. Country, I promise. You always was weak-minded. You want me to kill... The one who let Dutch drive you insane? Dutch wanted you dead. We all did. Uh -uh. What are going after him next? I'll outlive all of you. You always was a traitor. You bastard orphan. And you always was a dumb inbred hick. Esta noche duermo en tu cama, cabrón. They gonna talk? Uh -huh. Wait. Allende is dead. Mexico is mine. Wait, 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 wait. Can I keep him alive? I guess we'll never know. Why was I not patient? My fault, bruh. <laughs> Bill Williamson is dead. Bill Williamson is dead. Say it with me. Bill Williamson is dead. People are free. And it is all thanks to you, Joe. Can I get a song? And to the people who laid down their lives. People like Louisa. Oh, yes. She, she was very brave. And she will be missed. Who is she again? Oh, bro. I don't like you, bro. Your peasant girl wife to be? Oh, yes, of course. She she will have a day named after her. Laura's day. Louisa. Louisa. What? Oh, yes, I, I knew Laura as well. Magnificent girl. Like riding a pompous bull it was, amigo. You never bro, saw anything like that. Bro, John, let's go. Get out of here. Let's go. Anyway, enough about sport. Let's get back to politics. I trust you will join us in uh -uh. fighting on no. the No. I'd love to, but with Williamson dead, my jailers need me back in Blackwater. Hey, que hacen? Levantense. Well, I must say, I'll miss you, John Marston. I doubt you'll even remember me, Abraham, but it's been an experience. Good luck with the revolution. If you win power, remember why you wanted it. Mm. Well, travel safely, amigo. That was some great words. Moon. No more fancy words. Let's go back to America. The red, white, and blue. We gotta go all the way to Blackwater now. I'm... Wait. Okay, we can finally go up here, which means I can do the rest of the challenges. Okay, I'm kind of glad that I don't, you know, beat it, like, instantly. Agent Ross. Isn't that the... Agent Milton and Agent Ross. Oh. I thought they sent more. These are the same people, bro. It's been years. You got my Johnson down your throat. I know this is random, but I got some Prime and uh, I want to try it. I like just trying things on video. So like, it's just, it's like, oh yeah, that video. I tried Prime for the first time. I got like three bottles. So I'm gonna grab it real quick. You know, this, I don't got no, nobody sponsor me. Please, display. No. Display. No. This way. Now I do not be drinking. What's it called? Okay. I do not drink any Drew drink. I don't drink soda. The sweetest thing I probably drink is sweet tea. That's it. This is gonna be hundred percent. Oh, I'm not gonna like this. Oh, I'm not gonna like this at all. Uh uh. Uh uh. Oh hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was like juice. I heard the pop. I knew it was a problem. All right, wait a second. What is this? Ice pop. I hit it. I don't think I'm gonna like any of these just because it's like caffeinated. I'm telling you all I drink is water. So the this stuff is like, ooh, it smells good. It smells like, ooh. <sighs> mm -mm. Uh-uh. Oh my gosh. Wait a second. Are they got all of them? 
Hold up. Let me go back. Because I, I, I think my body's getting used to the bubbles in the... Yeah, my body's getting used to it. Hold up. I don't like any of them. I'm giving that to my dad. I just want to be known. I did not give it to my father. This thing has 200 Damn. milligrams of caffeine. That would have been attempted murder. And I was going to give him all three. I, th I think that would have been murder. So instead, I just poured it out. Like a responsible guy. Oh, hold up. I need water. Oh, and that's a portion of. Oh, it's in my. Oh, it's on my lips. Actually, that don't taste that bad. I think it's just carbonated. I can't drink carbonated stuff. The only carbonated drink I'll drink is Dr. Pepper. I already know I'm about to have a stomach ache now. It was about to be bad. I thought it was like a juice. I didn't know it was a soda. Oh my God. I was thinking, oh yeah, that ice pop look good. Strawberry look good. People tell me they don't like the lime, but that strawberry look good as hell. Oh snap. Was this another game? I don't think this was another game. Oh yeah, we definitely got to do another stranger's mission. Yo, this place is brand new. Why you always in them? Look at the moon. Hold up, Tabitha. Let me check out this place before I do a mission. Oh, my stomach feels horrible. Oh, oh, uh-oh. I really think it's just because I don't drink soda like that. I drink like one soda every month and it's usually too much for me. This is my town, Play by my town. What? Bro, I know. I'm gonna let it slide. I'm gonna let it slide. Yo, look at this place. Oh, snap. Wait, 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 wait. Dang, that area that like we built the stuff isn't here no more, I don't think. Yo, this is cool. Like, this is an actual place. It's I knew the Holy Virgin would bring me to you. Oh, here we go again, bro. Just take my money. Take the, just take my money. Take the money. I had to find you. Take the money. The trash took everything we take the money. We beg for your generosity. Take the money, bro. Take the money. Of course I'll help you, sister. Look at the cop in the back. He, he waited for me to do something. were all true. You are a living saint. My body don't feel like it. Oh my gosh, we'll be running to Gavin. Gavin ain't in the game, right? Ooh, they got a little house up there. <gasps> my family. What if it stops me from going to my home? Look at our, what? What? What the Gavin in my house? What in my house? Hey, what, wait. What the heck happened? Abigail! Uncle? Anybody here? What type of bullshit is this? And of course it's that dude right there, bro. You see, of course it's him. Of course it's him. Hey, bro, leave me alone. I'm not even joking, bro. My stomach's actually like upset. Bubbling and everything. I, it's making noises. I didn't eat today either, so maybe that's... Maybe I should have ate before. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. This is about to be bad. My lips trapped too. I have nothing, bro. Wait, what is that? What is that? Hey, Marston. I hear you're good with a pistol. I just hear John Marston. John Mar Marston. John Marston. John Marston. John Marston. Can I get a break? Like, everybody just wants a piece of me. And I got a wife, so you can't get none. Look at your head, bruh. Why you built like that? All right, leave me alone. Ooh, hold her. Hey, man. Are you telling me I came over here? For nothing. Ooh, look at all these new guns, too. Oh, explosive rifle? Hold up, bro. I'm gonna get the money. I'm gonna get the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm happy I didn't record all this in one day. Now I can grind the game again. I hate when I can't grind games. I love grinding games. I love playing games. Playing games is what I play and I do what I love. You know what I'm saying? I do what I like and I like playing games. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play. 101. I'm here to see Mr. Ross. 107, 109. 
nine. He can't count. 113. Upstairs, 113. Upstairs on the right. 114. He can't count. 115. 116, 117. Mr. Marston, I'm so glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some... Important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head? Oh! <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Esquela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. <laughs> no one's playing games with you, Shoot him. Marston. Shoot him. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Think, sir? Like hanging you for murder, or confiscating all of your property, like that little farm of yours, or or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could. I'm not disrespecting you, like that, bro. Choose to play a different game. So calm down and play along with us. Where's my wife? <laughs> you know, I forget, but I hear it's very nice this time of year. <sighs> Mr. Marston, please. I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn, but now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squabble by another lowlife. We believe Vanderlyn just holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, <sighs> yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group, your group, has, shall we say, been disbanded? <laughs> <laughs> disbanded. Anyway, Mr. Fell, Mr. Marston. He's slurping. Here we go. Oh, Mr. Marston, your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. Okay. After you, sir. I would have, bro. I would have, boom, hit. Bullet going straight through the one in the back. Straight through his head. This is for you. You're too kind. See, I have nothing but your best interest at heart. Let's nope. hope it doesn't go off by mistake. Give me a. What's it called? That, sir, this is an outrage. Oh, Mr. oh brother. <laughs> You're alive. Hello, Wes Dickens. <laughs> Thought you were headed to Peking. Um, so did I. So did I. A long story. But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Ross, have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. And because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him go. Oh! The moral degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. <laughs> 344. I would have let him go. Now you just hear. 347. 348. Three. Were we in a car? Let me drive. Oh, no. Uh. An automobile. But I'm gonna have to stop. Right, the the smell of that is getting in my nose. It smell like literally it's not. I'm, I'm gonna put that in the refrigerator real quick, bro. Isn't this Never mind. I'm lawmakers and lawbreakers working together for the good of civilization. Like you always say, sir, the higher the stakes, the smarter you have to play the game. I can't imagine I ever said anything quite so trite. In any case, I'm not sure Mr. Marston would agree with us. Unfortunately, Mr. Marston isn't broad-minded enough to appreciate the unique opportunity we're offering him. Son of a whore. You best watch your damn mouth. <laughs> and it's strange you should say that, Mr. Marston, because according to my files, you are the whore's son. 
Now, what else can I recall from the files? Oh, let's see. You killed hundreds of innocent people. You've robbed at least 40 banks that we're aware of. They told us there was a prize when you got to 50. I'm glad this is all such a joke to you. <laughs> Come on, bro. This is I with Abigail. And I'm sure all the men you murdered wanted their families too. Come now. You're stupid. But you're not that stupid. We both know how this has to be. And it could be all over today. As soon as we find Dutch Vanderlyn, you can go back home and play being a farmer again or whatever else you've been pretending to do for the last few years. First it was Bill, now it's Dutch. After Dutch, it'll be somebody else. Where does it end? It ends when we say it ends. You're in no position to make demands. Doug. You will. If you I kill Dutch? Away from that. Buy a few chickens and make it all disappear. You should be dead or rotting in a jail cell by now. We are giving you a chance at new life. A chance at redemption. You can't erase your past. He said the thing. <laughs> She's running well, sir. Such an elegant way to travel. What do you think of this automobile, Mr. Marston? Slow, but so convenient and reliable. Are you comfortable? No. You see this, Mr. Fordham? The brooding cowboy. There aren't many of these left, you know. A bit of a cliche, admittedly, but still a dying breed. Like the buffalo. Just as dumb, but not quite as noble. They move most cows by rail these days, I hear. Not where I'm from, they don't. But you aren't from anywhere. A new dawn is breaking, Mr. Marston. This is the age of the machine. And soon, we'll all be living on the moon. Maybe. This is the future. Anything is possible. Finally, this godforsaken land is entering the 20th century. Prosperity has arrived. In the form of assholes like you. It's not far now. The old serendipity wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp there. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. And you'll do as I say, Marston. Don't try anything stupid. Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? No, I will Let's kill all of you, bro. There's no way we're about to find Dutch this quick, though. If we do, then, like, on, then, Marston. this me. game should have been maximum, like, five hours, bro. Respectfully. We shouldn't have to do 300 missions with McDickens, fucking Seth. My fault. Excuse my language. <laughs> I'm like, I'm being blatantly honest. I did not like that. Meeting a new person, then stay close. Yes, having to do 900 missions. Is the priority. We go in, take him down, and get the hell out of here. Quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. If you step out of line, even once, well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. Seems real quiet, don't you think? You tell me. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. That informant better not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. It doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with low lives. I see somebody up there. In a head thingy. A bean bag? What are we putting on it? Potato sack on his head. There's someone up there. You go investigate. I'll keep watch here. Go investigate. What does it look like, bro? Why are you screaming like this? Do I know him? I found him. Good God, that's her informant. No. Oh, no. What the hell's going on here? It's a trap. Shit, Marston, you'll have to carry this man. I don't think you can walk. What the hell's happening? Bastard! Here? here we go. We need to clear a path. <laughs> Hey! Oh! Uh. Wait! You hear that? Why would they stop it? Are we not having fun? The boom, boom, pa, boo, 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 pa, hey, boo, boo, pa, boo, 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 pa, hey! Yo, that was fire! And they had the audacity to stop the music. That is not all of them, bro. There's the beat.
I'm trying to jam out to the music, bro. My stomach hurt. I got bubbles in my throat. Back to Agent Ross. You're pushing your damn luck. It is. Oh, I can't wait to kill you. Who's this? What in God's name is going on? Marston, lift this fellow into the back seat. Put him in the car so we can get out of here. Let's go. There might be more of them. Oh, he's about to leave me. Why are you sitting there like that? I like you plotting. Christ alive! What the hell happened down there? It was a trap. They were waiting for us. And who is this savage? A prisoner? This is the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Uh, uh yes, he does, sir. He's the informant. Don't get snarky with me, Fordham. We found him tied up on the boat. Then they jumped us. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws. Especially when one of them's an office clerk. Or social secretary or some you such. Just shut your mouth. Bro, he's dead. Look at him, bro. Come on, not now. What's wrong? I don't know. The motor just gave out. Well, fix it, you fool. We need to get this man to a doctor. Of course, sir. Well. Punch his men. Marston, we'll hold them off. Hold them, we'll fix that damn engine. You say will? You don't even got a gun. Where your gun at? You gonna shoot? How you gonna have a revolver but give me this? Stop shooting at me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they look like natives, and I'm com that wouldn't make sense. No, but it wouldn't at the same time. Unless Rain's Falls is still alive. But he wouldn't trust him. I can't see any more of them. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir. I think so. Yo, ugly hair, bro. Let's get back to Blackwater. Damn, that was close. We're lucky to be alive. I'm beginning to see why Mr. Marston here has made it to such a ripe old age. You'll make me blush with all these kind words. So much for this automobile of yours. If this is the future, God help us all. It's not the automobile. A bad workman shouldn't blame his tools. Perhaps if Mr. Fordham maneuvered it with a little more finesse. He's been on the road the whole time. To an ambush, sir. Even if it was running fine, they'd still have caught us. I can walk faster than this piece of crap. Give me a horse any day. So what now? Do I get to see my family? Where is Dutch Vanderlyn? I don't know. In that case, old boy, no, you don't get to see your family. It's a fairly simple agreement, Mr. Marston, even for a man as devoid of intellect as yourself. If you'd like me to explain it to you again, I'd be more than willing. No, you said enough. We'll find Vanderlyn soon enough. For now, however, I suggest we call it a day. I'm I don't gotta do this. Feel? Taking a man's wife and child from him. Does it make you feel good? How does it feel to kill hundreds of men in cold blood? It's so great. You're a coward. You're a murderer. Actions have consequences, Mr. Marston. Come now. Try to look on the bright side. The bright side? There ain't no bright side. Your family is enjoying a much needed vacation and in far more luxurious surroundings than those to which they are accustomed, I assure you. Soon you will be able to start a new life together absolved of all your sins. I can think of far more upsetting alternatives. We should take the ending to Professor McDougal, see what he can get out of them. Good idea, sir. I just can't communicate with them. Do you wait? Here I thought. Thank I don't know God. what you call. So, this is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. We should tell you something. Indeed, but he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? 
Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross. Uh, Mr. Fordham? Good day. Good day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. <sighs> Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Now, McDougal. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure you do. <laughs> Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston, just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good thought. Are we actually going to meet Rain Swallows? You know, I'm going to leave this episode off right here because my I, I'm not even joking. My stomach hurts. Uh, hopefully, next episode is either going to be Strangers or it could be the last episode. All I know is next episode, I'm going to have everything, including your grandma. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.